Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Overnight at a rally in Florida, the President of the United States said that the China had broke the deal and trade talks in Washington would face stiff tariffs if no agreement is reached. He also mentioned that um, because they have broke deal, because they broke deal, because they're flying in, they're hoping that uh, something will uh, come out of this. I think the best thing that a lot of people are looking for is maybe the Chinese kind of backtrack a little bit of all of the redlining that they did on the um, proposed deal. And, and maybe we can come up with something of extended no negotiations o over the next few weeks. Obviously, the markets are reacting to that with uh, beans down six, corn down three, wheat down three, and the stock market's going to open up 190 points lower. Again, this push and pull is, is um, adding to volatility and maybe reducing some of the uh, trade volume and getting people out of some of their positions that they were long equities. Uh, yes, and maybe adding to some of the um, short grain positions because without China uh, and normal weather, our carryouts are going to go up. So will global uh, carryouts. As far as the weather is concerned, another wet day across the Midwest yesterday. That front is moving into the east, so it's the Ohio Valley down into the Delta today. After that, we should maybe have five to six days of open, cool weather. And so we could actually see a little bit of net drying uh, across the Midwest, especially in the western Corn Belt, and get some planting done. It was interesting that NOAA came out and said that for the first time in 30 years, uh, much of the U.S. Uh, is drought free. And they also said that January, February, March across the Midwest was the wettest period ever on uh, record. So we um, got export sales today. Sales should be down from the pace needed to reach the USDA's goal. Maybe 75 to 250,000 tons of wheat, 500 to 800,000 corn, and three to 650,000 tons of beans. Again, yesterday we heard talk about a few cargoes of Argentina corn sold in the U.S. Southeast. Uh, that's how cheap Argentina corn is right now. We also heard that Chinese are asking for prices of soybeans being shipped out of Mexico on their west coast of Mexico. That might be Argentina beans eventually getting to those export points. Right now, all things considered, that Mexican origin wheat to China is cheaper than U.S. We also noted that Conab came out and said that their corn crop is uh, 95 million tons versus a previous estimate of 94, and last year around 81. Um, AgReal actually said the corn crop is 99 million tons. So again, more supply to cut into U.S. corn export demand. The Conab said that the bean crop is 114 versus 113.8 and 119 last year. Agrial put the bean crop at 115.3 versus their previous estimate of 114.6. We got a report tomorrow. Uh, we'll be a lot smarter after the report comes out, but most people look for the USDA to raise global uh, wheat and soybean in stocks, lower the corn stocks. Uh, here in the United States, we could actually see wheat and bean carryouts about unchanged from 1819, and corn carryout up a little bit. Funds yesterday were sellers across the board. We still look at them short almost 80,000 contracts of wheat, 300 corn, almost 180,000 contracts of beans. And right now, we don't really see anything in the weather, or we don't really see anything out of Washington, or out of the trade deal, or anything long term as far as demand is concerned that would spark these uh, funds get out of their record short position. So again, uh, U.S.-China uh, trade debt pessimism has things lower uh, overnight. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.